Hi friends, welcome back to Flowing Fizz. The present uh, lockdown situation has in fact proved uh, very useful and advantageous to very many filmmakers, at least with respect to the release of their movies. It was Ponmagal Vandal a little while ago. Now it's Bollywood's turn. Gulaba Sidabo, the much awaited Hindi movie, has just hit the OTT platforms right today. Well, set against a lovely backdrop of Lucknow City, the film directed by Surjit Sirka showcases a simple and straightforward theme that deliberates on the ill effects of human greediness, its repercussions and consequences. Mirsa, the character enacted by the legendary Amitabh Bachchan, he plays a 78-year-old man, very treacherous, very cunning, on the sly always, the owner of a huge palatial but dilapidated mansion where a lot of tenants are living. Aishman Kurana as Bonki is a troublesome tenant who is not even willing to pay the amount of paltry sum of rupees 30 years rent. The initial portions talk about their battles in which one trying to demand rent and other trying to evade it. It is at this juncture that two men creeping. One is Gainesh, played effectively by Vijay Ras. He actually works for the Archaeological Society of India. Reasons unknown, he is hell bent upon getting this property listed as a heritage property so that all and sundry living there could be evacuated. Reasons unknown. Secondly, there is one guy called Christopher Clark. He is an advocate, very treacherous, very cunning, and his speciality in practice is he would help clients to assert the property belonging to others. On an occasion when Mirsa approaches uh, uh, Christopher to take help to in order to evacuate his troublesome te tenant, Christopher somehow feels that he, is, he could be uh, exploiting this guy and then sells him the idea of uh, actually selling the property. As a matter of fact, the property, the title is in the name of one Fatima Begum. The mansion is also named Fatima Mahal, 95 year old lady who is 15 years elder to Amitabh Bachchan, I mean Misra, who is the actual owner. The title is, it is in her name. Uh, given the power of attorney, he convinces Mirsa to sell it. But lo and behold, you know what uh, Begum does? She pulls a fast one, even at 95, she is so sharp and shrewd, outsmarting and thwarting the attempts of all these people individually and collectively. Well, the moral of the story being, when human beings try to be greedy, not only do they not get what they want, but they also lose what they have. The worst loser in this case is Misa, who is totally driven out of home, left high and dry. That's it. Performance wise, uh, I'm afraid Amitabh Bachchan doesn't exactly fit into the character of Misa. Maybe because of the overdrawn makeup and the slant walk, etc, etc. Somehow he doesn't gel. As far as Aishman Kurana, the upcoming Bollywood star, perhaps the role, his, role, his character has been underwritten because of his, he is also not able to create a flutter. Well, in all, uh, the film is not so gripping and uh, I would uh, say that uh, the makers have been wise enough not to try out a theatrical release but to go for a OTT release. That's it. Well, friends, that's all about the movie. It's time to say goodbye. So, meet you soon with the next movie analysis. Goodbye till then. If you like it, leave a like.